Welcome to Engineers Mindset. Now we have a problem on the board which says a view behind the piston is compressed reversibly according to the law PV equal to 0 0.25 where P is in bar and V in meter cube per kilogram. We just say the final volume is 1 over 4 of the initial volume. Calculate the work done on the field. Alright, so it is always important for you to pick out the key statements according to the sign of measure. In this case, the fuel is compressed reversibly. That means work is done on the system. So when work is done on the system, that work done is always negative. So with this, you know that if you arrive at the answer of this work, you must always have a negative answer which shows compression. Alright. So let's give three the parameters we have. Um, we have the law, giving law, PV equal to 0 0.25. Okay. We also have that the initial volume, the initial volume, the final volume is 1 over 4 of the initial volume. So final volume will be 2. V2 is equal to 1 over 4 of V1 of the initial volume, which is V1. So this is the imply that V2 is simply 1 over 4 of, that is times V1. Okay? So we can simply call this, or you can see this is, that's V1 over 4, because V1 is 1. V1 over 4. If you cross multiply, it means um, it is mean that V2 is equal to V1 over 4. So if you cross multiply, V2 multiplied by 4, V1 multiplied by 2. It means that initial volume V1, V1 is now equal to 4 times V2. So this is the first thing we establish. So V1 equals 4 V2. So, so our initial volume V1 is equal to 4 times final volume. Okay, so from the law, from the law, we have that PV equal to 0.25. We have this. So it now means that the value of the pressure P is equal to divide both sides by the volume to get P. You have 0.25 divided by V. That's our pressure. But recall, the condition says that where pressure is in bar, so P is in bar, so if P is equal to this, remember, 1 bar is 1 by 10 raised to power 5 newtons per meter, uh, per meter squared. So it means that P is equal to uh, times 10 raised to power 5 Pascal, Pascal or newtons per meter squared. So this is our value for pressure. But recall, work done is an integral from initial volume V1 to final volume V2 of pressure and change in volume. So we now know what the pressure is. In place of the pressure P, we put in this whole value. Okay, so we have that work done. Okay, work done is equal to integral. Initial volume V1, remember, V1 is equal to what? 4 V2. So in place of V1, we are putting 4 V2. So we have 4 V2. And then finally V2. Okay? And pressure P is 0.25 times 10 raised to the power 5 all over V dv. So 0.25 times 10 to the power 5 is a constant. Always is only the value constant out of the integral side. So you have 0.25 by 10 to the power 5 integral for V2, V2 dv over v. Of course, the integral of dv over v from the rules of expression is the natural logarithm. So it gives you the was natural logarithm of v. So we have this is equal to 0 0.25 by 10 to the power 5. Okay, integral of dv over v is plain v, natural log of v from 4 v2 to v2. Okay, so you have this. Alright, 
So this is equal to um, 0 0.25 by 10 to the power 5. Okay. You put in upper limit, upper limit minus lower limit. So you have the upper limit is V2 minus lower limit is uh, the for V2. So you have this. So upper limit minus lower limit. Okay. This is now equal to 0.25 by 10 to the power 5. Of course, when two log digits subtract each other from the laws of log in, when two log in subtract each other, the value is simply take one of the log and divide the numbers. So we take one of the log, which is lane, to divide the numbers. You have V2 divided by 4 V2. Okay? So let's start from here. V2 will strike V2. So you have 0.25 by 10 is equal to 5. A2 becomes a 1 over 4. Of course, the 1 over 4 is 0 0.25. I think so. Okay, so this is equal to 0.25 by 10 is equal to 5. Play 0 0.25. Okay? So we'll get the 0 0.25 from our calculator. Let's get the 0 0.25. Then 0 0.25 minus 1.38629. Okay, so this is equal to minus 0 0.25. Sorry, this is 0 0.25 by 10 raised to power 5 into minus 1.38629. Minus 1.38629. Okay, so of course, we must apply this value to get 0.25 by 10 to 5 and minus 1.38629. You have to work on to be equal to okay, minus 34657. 34657.36. Joules. So if you wish, you can convert that to kilojoules. Okay, so if you convert to kilojoules, you divide it by one half. That means work done is minus 34.66 kilojoules. Okay, so you see that the value for the work done is negative because on the initial condition that is given to us, the gas is being compressed and when work is done on the system, work done on the system is simply was negative. So it takes into another law, compression is negative work, while the expand expansion is positive work. Alright guys, that's it for that question. I will see you in the next video uh, with another question. Of course, if you have any question uh, or comment, please, uh, place it down in the comment section. Ask me your question and I promise to respond to all your questions swiftly. Also, um, like the video, share to your friends, and of course, subscribe. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.